Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you guys again. And without further ado, let's continue what we left before. Okay, now let's play with our anime graph where we could add animations to our character. Okay, now. First of all, let's create a state machine here and gonna rename it as ground locomotion. Okay, gonna connect it here and let's jump into it. Let's create states. Okay, first it is is and usually no always idle. And then just and jog. And I would like to tell you guys that um during this process there would be a repetitive process, so uh I might fast forward. The process when it comes to the repetitive one. Okay. Um. So okay, let's connect it here, and here also, and here also. So this one, this actually this are what you call with states, and. These are what you call with transitions, okay? You put logics inside here so uh, you can move from one state to another, okay? So now um, let's go to our Kwang animations and check some animations. And we have sprint here. So, okay, that's nice. Um, I'm gonna add another state here. I'm gonna name it as Spring. Connect it in here, and let's see. Okay, he has. Sprint start and sprint stop. So, sprint start. Hmm, it's gonna turn into a spider web, I guess. Tidy. Okay. And I would like to add an idle animation here for the idle state and yep. And before I go further with this uh, states, I would like to go back to my player BP and change some now a few settings here. I'm gonna change the maximum acceleration because for me this value is quite big. So the transition between idle to jog start, jog stop, eh, sorry, jog start to jog is pretty fast. It feels like he's it's like a flash, you know? He's in an idle state and in an instance, he's already running. So that's why I used to change this maximum acceleration. And my favorite number is 600. And you guys could play around with these values. And also I'm gonna change the freaking deceleration maybe. I guess the maximum acceleration for this time. 
maybe I will play around with this later on but now I'm gonna create um, an action mapping a simple action mapping uh, so I could switch bef between chalk and sprint so left shift when I press left shift um gonna track track and drop this one I'm gonna uh, change the maximum walk speed set maximum walk speed into uh, let's say a thousand and I'm gonna promote it as a variable Spring speed and when I release left shift oops the maximum walk speed will return to 600 600 is the default uh, value for the walk speed okay but you guys could also play around with it so nice um, now let's go back into our anim graph and I will fill in the transition first I guess I don't think you'll start um, speed is greater than zero if the speed is greater than zero and let's add the pin is accelerating oops and not is in the air then we can answer this transition so I'm gonna copy this, paste it into here. Um, also paste it here, but if it is greater than 601. And, oops gonna copy this one and da -da 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 here okay nice then from chalk start to chalk if the speed is greater than let's say 400 This one to chop, chop to chop, stop. If the speed is, let's say, less, less than zero point one, or it's not accelerating. Then enter transition. I'm gonna copy this into this. And then, um, we already fill this one, fill in this one. Okay, we need to add a transition in here. Oh no need um sprint start. But yeah, it's okay. Maybe it's okay. I don't know, we're gonna try it later after we fill in the um animations okay so above 700 
gonna check everything later. Uh, this one, I would use automatic. This one is also automatic. Uh, field, field. Automatic. Should be. Oh, we forgot this. So, if the speed is greater than Six hundred and one. This one. If the speed is less than six hundred and one. Okay. Now let's fill in the. Animation. So drop start forward and loop. Okay. Chop chop forward. Chop forward. This one. Um maybe for you guys who are new to Unreal Engine. Uh, maybe you guys are wondering why. Why am I just used to forward? Uh, jog animations. It's because uh, I used the default settings for the character movement. Okay. Um, I will tell you later on. And there are so many ways. To create a um, ground locomotion in Unreal Engine, so so I might uh discuss it in a different video tutorial, I guess. So um, ju let's just continue. Okay, we are good to go. And let's chat. Let's see. Uh, okay, gonna fix, uh, gonna cut some frames. A few frames, maybe, in the jog stop. And for spring, the transition is quite fast. And it's okay, I guess we don't need a uh, sprint start state and sprint stop because. Because I changed uh, the maximum acceleration, so just make this one, and let's change the jog stop. Let's go back here. Jog stop forward. Mm, gonna rename. Oh yeah, the fastest way to copy and paste is by pressing Ctrl and W. And I'm gonna cut a few frames here. So... Okay. Then let's go back here and let's change our animation job stop this one new chat compile press play okay good nice and I would like to change the duration so the transition would be delayed a little bit. 
Thanks. Okay. Okay. Better. Now, after crown logo motion, let's create another state machine for the jumping locomotion. But before that, I'm gonna save cage and rename it as a crown logo. Uh, sorry, I'm create a new state machine. As the function, let's connect it here. Go here. Turn local. Uh, before that, let's check. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, let's create another state. Jones. As you guys could see, um, if you are new to Unreal Engine, the animator has their own reason why they separate uh, the jumped animation because we wouldn't know when our character is jumping from a high line or just doing a small jump. So, if we just create one full jumped uh, animation, it would be hard. It would be difficult for in the future um, regarding to the gameplay. Okay, in here I'm just gonna use Crown local. Oops. Here is an air. Hmm. Automatic. This one is not in there. Automatic. Automatic. In air, then start. Oops, make sure that you're not using the additive one because you need to blend between uh two different animations if you are using additive okay let's try okay we need still to fix it but when it comes to jump Okay guys, I guess I'm gonna wrap up this episode here and in the next episode we're gonna fix and adj maybe adjust a little bit regarding to the crown loco and the whole locomotion so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episodes <laughs>